All right. So the first thing to note about the ulnar nerve is that the scanning we like to start at the wrist and then work our way up. It gets really awkward when you're trying to adequately scan the ulnar nerve across the elbow. Uh, one of the ways I do it is by having the arm like this and then scanning along like that. Um, you can flex the elbow and then try and scan around it like that. But if anybody has a shoulder injury or shoulder pain, then getting up into the apprehension maneuver becomes quite difficult uh, and painful. So I like to just hold it. Now you can also have it so that the arm is like this in the seated position. I can show you that afterwards. So we'll just start like this first. We're gonna use a near setting for this. The ulnar nerve is superficial. A little bit of goop here. Left is left on the screen. I'm gonna start right at the wrist. So here's the median nerve right in the beginning of the carpal tunnel. And just to the right of this on the screen is the ulnar artery. So here's the ulnar artery. We're gonna take a little bit of pressure off here and we can see that there's a little vein here as well. Ulnar artery and then just ulnar to the ulnar artery is going to be the ulnar nerve. And here it is right here. Now, how do I know that's the ulnar nerve? Well, there's a couple little fascicles in it. It's right next to the ulnar artery. And when I start scanning more proximal, you can see those fascicles much better. Okay, so here's our ulnar artery. This is a vein. This is a vein. We've got like a little Mickey Mouse thing going on here. Here's the ulnar uh, nerve. This is flexor carpi ulnaris. We're going to scan up into the wrist again. Here is the pisiform, right here. And then here is the ulnar nerve, right here. Now the ulnar nerve branches around this level. So here at the wrist, we're gonna, it's gonna branch off into a, a deep branch, which is gonna come this way. Uh, we're gonna have a digital branch that's then gonna go to um, the fourth and fifth digits. Uh, and, uh, well, we won't go into Guillain's Canal right now. We're just going to keep scanning proximal first. So here's the ulnar nerve. It's going to go just deep and ulnar to flexor carpi ulnaris. And just a few centimeters above the pisiform, we're going to see the rest of the ulna. And then the ulnar nerve is going to be joined by the dorsal ulnar cutaneous branch right here. So here are those little fascicles of the, of the ulnar nerve. They're always going to be just on the ulnar aspect of the ulnar nerve. When we scan distal, you can watch them come off and they go through this little fascial plane right here, deep to FCU muscle belly and then they're gonna travel around and dorsal. And I don't have enough gel to follow it all the way around. It's a tricky one to follow, but you can. Then we're gonna keep going proximal and usually at about the mid forearm, you start to run out of gel again. Flexor carpi radial, uh, ulnaris, sorry, is here, and the aponeurosis splits here. Okay. Here's the ulnar nerve. Going to make a small adjustment. The ulnar nerve then continues to go posterior and ulnar. Now we are getting up to the elbow. At this level, 
the ulnar nerve is going to die between the heads of flexor carpi ulnaris. And this is also where I start to re make a slight readjustment. So here's the ulnar nerve just deep to flexor carpi ulnaris. Here's flexor carpi ulnaris. And now you can see that we're going to have two heads of flexor carpi ulnaris. The one that goes to the medial epicondyle and, and to the olecranon. And then here's the, the ulnar nerve right here. This is the humerus and the ulnar truclea. And then we're going to follow this guy around here. This is the uh, fibrous um, uh, connection between the two heads of FCU. And then you need lots of gel. I'm just going to bend this. So here we are, FCU. We're going to come along. And then here we are at the medial epicondyle. The ulnar nerve sits right over the, uh, right on the floor of the medial epicondyle here. And then traverses anterior to sit over triceps. And then it's boring, generally it just sits on triceps. Sometimes it, it dives and gets surrounded a little bit by triceps, that's an anatomic variant. And then it comes up to the cords of the plexus and I'm gonna run out of gel. Here it's being joined by the uh, median, oh sorry, radial nerve there at the um, uh, this is the, well, yeah, we're at the cords here now. So the real, the real um, money of the ulnar nerve is going to be at the wrist and at the elbow. This is the level where you want to do a cross-sectional measurement. You can flex the ulnar, uh, the elbow and see if the ulnar nerve subluxes over it. This one does not. For this uh, next one, what I just want to show you is how we do the alternate method of scanning the ulnar nerve. So here we have um, the patient sitting and the elbow is a little bit flexed. So again, I'm going to put medial over the medial epicondyle, okay, and um, lateral is towards the, uh, or the, the right of the screen is towards the olecranon. Um, you can switch it around if you really want to. But what this does is it allows you to get a little bit of better um, scanning along the ulnar nerve uh, at this area of the medial epicondyle. So here we are just below the heads of FCU. We're going to come up past Osborne's ligament, and then here we are at the medial epicondyle. Here's the ulnar nerve. This is where I would measure it, about right here. And then you can see that it goes a little bit posterior and then sits on top of the triceps. One reason why I like this is that you can just get them to flex that elbow just like that, and then you can watch the ulnar nerve sit right on that medial epicondyle, and you can extend it. And then you can hold your transducer fairly um, easily with your uh, ulnar digits to brace that and keep the pressure off it and just watch it. So this one moves just a little bit, but not a whole lot.